Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Texas Real Estate. Uh, we're talking all things residential real estate across the great state of Texas. And I still owe you uh, a payoff on why Susie Orman might be a little cuckoo. Uh, nationally syndicated radio TV host Susie Orman posted on Facebook and, and mentioned, uh, I think, in pretty much all of her media outlets uh, recently that... Um, you should not buy a house right now, she says. She says that um, you should wait until the end of the year because, and then her because was was pretty nuts, to be honest with you. She says, I would absolutely wait until September, October, November of this year uh, before I even consider buying a home. One concern is property values. Many people will have to make up their missed mortgage payments around this time. Federal employment is scheduled to stop on July 31st. This puts them in a difficult financial position, especially if they are still out of work. It's not impossible that your neighbors might have to foreclose on their home. Here's the problem, and this is where it gets really nuts. Let's say you paid $300,000 for a home today, and your next door neighbor is out of work due to the coronavirus and can't afford to make mortgage payments. So they foreclose on their home. The house goes for $150,000. Say, what? That's me. She didn't type that. The house goes for $150,000. Um, do you know that what just what that just did to your property value that you just bought? Your property now is worth $150,000. Say, what? Again, she didn't write that. That's me thinking it's insane. Because <laughs> when somebody goes to check the latest comp, they're going to see, oh, well, the house next door sold for $150,000. The house down the block, just like yours, sold for $150,000. There goes the price of real estate, and that's exactly what happened in 2007 and 2008. This is the part where, like, if I was Jimmy Fallon, I would raise my pen up and right. start to write a note to her. Dear Susie, you're wrong. <laughs> yes. Please stop talking yes. on It is 2020 airways. now, yeah. correct? It is 2020. That's not exactly what happened in 2007 and 2008 because there wasn't a coronavirus then. And uh, there wasn't mass unemployment due to a global pandemic then. So I would argue that we're in slightly different real estate markets, potentially unbelievably and dramatically different real estate markets. I would also argue that her opinion of what happens when a home is foreclosed on is a lot off. I was going to say sure. a little bit off, but it's a lot off. The best part of this is that there's at least 2000 comments and some of them are just fantastic. Yeah. Uh, so I, I did share that on my personal Facebook. If you want to go see it or read it, if you want to track her down, I, I don't think she's stupid. And to be very clear, I don't think she's drunk or stupid. I was joking, but I do think, you know, she's trying to get some attention. I think she knows better, but uh, I, I could be wrong. She might just have a really, really skewed view on real estate. But now that we've made it very clear that I disagree, let's talk about what is true in regard to property values here in DFW. Number one, even if somebody was in an, the unfortunate situation of losing their job due to coronavirus and had fully exhausted all the options for um, delaying payments and, and, and you know refinancing or restructuring mortgage repayment, A, that's going to take a long time, right? You, you're you're going to have a much longer runway of trying to work that out or if you were to get behind on your payments. But let's say you were to unfortunately end up in that situation where your home was foreclosed on. Well, in the market that we are in right now, with values rising every single day, a bank is not going to foreclose on that home and then turn around and sell it for half price, especially if you just bought it a couple of months ago. Right. Even if you paid cash for that house and you had that amount of equity if you paid cash, you're not going to get foreclosed on by a bank because right. there is no bank. But if you were unemployed and had to get rid of the house or whatever, no one's going to sell it for half price, right? If you borrowed money for the house, even if you put a big down payment down the, and the bank takes that back, they're not going to sell it for half price either because they have the opportunity to recoup all their money and maybe if there's equity, maybe actually make some money, which right. is what a bank is in business to do, you know, make some money. So- that's not a scenario. Breaking news on that one. Breaking, Breaking news. <laughs> Banks are here to make money. In case you didn't know. Uh, you heard it here first. Yes. yes. But it just, that argument makes no sense, right? That's not what's happening. It's really not what directly happened in 2007 and eight. Now, there was a lot of foreclosures in 2007 and eight. And in 2007 and eight, banks were 
overwhelmed with foreclosures and did at times sell those homes for less than they were owed to get them off their balance sheets. Um, we are not seeing that right now. Is it possible that some of that could happen in areas where borrowing was rambunctious and kind of unwise? It is technically possible. She used the phrase in, in her deal. It's not impossible that your neighbors might what a great sentence, yeah. right? It's not impossible that your neighbors might have to foreclose on their home. Well, that's true every day of every year for right. everyone everywhere, right? It's By the not way, impossible. it's not impossible is just another way of saying might. Right. It's not impossible that there might be a meteor landing on me today. Not probable, but it's not impossible that it might happen. So, Which if you follow anything to do with NASA, you'll know that that <laughs> actually happens more than you might think. <laughs> That's for another it show. It never makes the news. That's Scary for another show. show. Anyway, conspiracy theories aside, um, it was just a ridiculous article. But the reason I bring it up, it wasn't even an article. It was just a comment. But the reason I bring it up is because she's not the only one saying stuff like this. There's media all over the place. There's wannabe pundits all over the place. You know, anybody with a computer and a microphone can have a podcast these days. There, of course, are some great ones. But there's a lot of opinions out there that are not based in fact, especially hyper local real estate data. Right. So here's the hyper local real estate data for North Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth area right now. Home values are rising due to low supply, high demand, extraordinarily low interest rates. And um, we are still seeing population growth in North Texas, even through COVID-19. We are still seeing people move to the market and need a place to live. Um, did we see total overall transactions dip during our shelter in place? Of course we did, and shortly following. But for May, and absolutely you can count on it, for June, we saw the largest rises month over month in home sales that we've seen since 2001. And 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 in some ways, if you look at that data, the, the largest month over month, month rise ever. Well, so May and June were massive, tons of sales, tons of activity, values going up, buyers competing for homes. So even if you had to get rid of a house, it's worth more uh, several months later than when you bought it. So it's just a crazy article. But there was an article this week in the Dallas Morning News that puts Dallas, the Dallas Metroplex as the most valuable market in Texas, right. the ninth most valuable market in the entire US. Yep. And, and and their calculation of value is based on like you know what what house can you get for your money with the opportunity for that value to appreciate. There's no guarantee of appreciation, but right now I'm I'm telling right. you homes are appreciating. So, um we <laughs> we promised we would tell you Three home buyer tips. Hopefully you caught those in the first segment. If you didn't, go to treradio.com where you can get access to past show episodes. You can also go directly to our YouTube channel at tthst.tv. 